team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Aussie Answers 21 Questions America Has for Australia. We did this one, but with Tanner answering the questions. Now we got Brienne, I think is her name. Before we dive in, though, y'all know what I need y'all to do smash on that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, get a video or a thumbs up so it gets suggested. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. Well, we got. So a lot of you have been asking me to do another Australian themed video, and honestly, there's only so many videos you can make about Australia, believe it or not. I made an 11 minute video okay. about the history of the sausage sizzle. Huh. So, <laughs> but I found all these articles like questions America has for Australia, questions Britain has for Australia, questions mm. Twitter has for Australia, questions the old guy at the bus stop has for Australia, so I'm gonna answer those. I would like to say before someone rides my ass about it that this video has been done about 50 times before, so yeah. that's where we are. <laughs> would also like to say that it is so hot today, so we are right on brand for this video. Why is your money so colourful? It's currency, not a fashion contest. <laughs> First of all, we're not the country with dollar notes. That is the most impractical use of paper that has ever been conceived. Second of all, Australia has one of the lowest literacy rates in the entire world, so we really need money that we can just look at and find and not have to read. Also, it just looks pretty. Number two. <laughs> Alright, them dollar notes come in handy, you feel me? They do come in handy. Uh, but she says we're not the most, you know, we're very low in literacy, so we need money we can find and just not have to read. That we can just look at and find and not have to read. Also, it just looks pretty. Number two, why is it made out of plastic? I'm gonna get so riled up right at the start of this video. <laughs> plastic is so much more durable than paper. It's so much Thanks. more economically viable as a result of that. You can get it wet. I've taken my money swimming before accidentally. I've also put it through the wash and we're all sweet. Paper can be set on fire so easily. Could you burn our money? Definitely, but it would be a bit of an effort. Also <laughs> creating fake Australian money is pretty difficult. Mm. Pretty difficult. Number three, did you really Good put point. kangaroos on your coins? Did we? God, we, we really did that. <laughs> On the dollar coin, there is five kangaroos, in fact. Wait, you eat them, so you put your food on your currency. Yes, we eat kangaroos, and also it's kind of a Christmas miracle that we don't have a sausage sizzle on our currency yet, so is anything available in your- <laughs> that we don't have a sausage sizzle on our currency yet. Like I always say, I'd love to try kangaroo meat, just see what it tastes like. I just want to try it. I just want to try it. Uh, but I think it's really cool that they put the national animal on a coin, like, I think that's amazing. Kind of a Christmas miracle that we don't have a sausage sizzle on our currency yet, so... Is anything available in your country? We wouldn't know, because nothing's available. Oh my god! <laughs> my tweet is literally on here. Have you guys ever heard of shirts? Absolutely not. How much bagged wine do you people drink? It's called a goon sack. I don't have an answer for you. Have you ever made it through a sentence without swearing? Mm. Not since 1938. What's with the Celsius? Dang. Who do you think you are? England. Honey, first of all. Come in, take a seat. We need to chat because... Just have a quick browse of this map. Because you bitches... I know. I know, I know. I don't know why we say that. I don't know why, America. We're literally one of the only countries that use Fahrenheit. I don't know why that. We need to chat because... Just have a quick browse of this map. Because you bitches are literally the only people in the world using Fahrenheit. Why are your pharmacies called chemists and why don't they sell beer? Yeah, look, you got me there. I, that's, yeah. Okay. We'll cop that. We should sell beer at chemists. I could probably go into the fact that it's kind of irresponsible to sell pharmaceuticals with alcohol, but we literally have drive-in bottleos, so... How are you this bad at baseball and why do you call it cricket? <laughs> I don't care about baseball or cricket, so... I love cricket, but that's how are you this bad at baseball? Why do you call it cricket? Australia has an actually really good cricket team. How are you this bad at baseball and why do you call it cricket? I don't care about baseball or cricket, so why do you call ketchup tomato sauce and charge for it? Yeah, look, okay. It's obviously called tomato sauce because it's sauce that is tomato flavored. However, having to pay 50 cents for it when I'm getting a pie really ruins my day and honestly yeah. i think that we can all agree that that is what the plebiscite should have been about why do you call burger king hungry jacks well <laughs> boy do i have a trademark story for you it's actually not very big at all someone just registered burger king before burger king got here why are your large pizzas the size of our personal pizzas why are your obesity rates so high <laughs> i say that but our obesity rates are pretty high and that 
That one really cut me deep. Our pizzas are literally too small. Why are your pies filled with meat instead of fruit? I'm skipping this, it will make me angry. How is high your second lowest fire danger rating? Look, with the weather that is outside currently, I am not surprised. Why do you pi <laughs> Why do your pigeons look like this? Oh, you can- <laughs> That's what we call an evolved pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> that pigeon has evolved to, uh, but what do they call, what do y'all call them, bin, bin rat, bin, I don't know, bin bird, something Have like them. that. No one likes them. No one. They don't even like themselves. Do you want some weird pigeons, America? Because we've got plenty. How is the one creature that can't kill you outlawed? That's <laughs> my state that outlawed them too. Mm. I can never have a rabbit. <laughs> I can't legally that's crazy. have a rabbit. Look, we just put rabbit ears on our dogs and hope for the best. That's that's pretty much all we've got. Moving on to 43 questions Twitter has for Australians. Why do okay. Australians call it Maccas? Why do you just want to suck the fun out of everything? Why do you want to pronounce full words? Who has the time? Why do Australians walk around supermarkets barefoot where are at me next time? Will I walk across the hot road that is resembling the temperature of Mordor before I put shoes on? 100%. You know what? Mum didn't wow. raise a quitter and I will lose my feet before I wear shoes to Coles. Why do Australians say going for a feed as if <laughs> as if they're cattle don't know <laughs> look I'll probably edit it out but I've been thinking about this for a while and I don't know <laughs> why do Australians pronounce no as no oh, fuck no. that's so true really starting to dislike she did say it from in the, the first time she said no I, I heard it in her accent I did <laughs> She said I'll walk across the hot street before I put shoes on. I will lose my feet before I put some shoes on to go into Kohl's, which is a grocery store I've learned. Australians pronounce no as no. Oh, fuck, that's so true. Really starting to dislike no. these ones that are just right. <laughs> Can't say anything about it, they're just correct. Why do Australians say anything like anything? Why do Australians have such trouble pronouncing their country's name? Australia sounds like a sexually transmitted infection. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Why do Australians drink so much for fuck's sake? Oh, don't know. Why do Australians say catch you later? Like, what are you gonna do? Get your fishing rod out? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know what I'm gonna do later. I'm just keeping my options open. Why do Australians always sound like they're asking a question? Because we're so non committal that we can't even commit to a decisive statement. Why do Australians call broccoli broccoli? Who is out here saying broccoli? Old people. Old people say broccoli and Wednesday <laughs> and I have a broccoli at the RSL on a Wednesday. Why do Australians put pineapple on everything? Burger, yes. Pizza, yes. Barbecue, yes. Quick question. Leave a comment below if you think that pineapple goes on pizza real quick. I no. think it does. No. Conditionally. Supreme uh. pizza, I think so in small amounts. Hawaiian pizza, obviously it's the cornerstone of a Hawaiian pizza. You can't just go around slapping pineapple on any pizza though. No. That's my opinion on the topic, but let me know what yours is. I'm sure you- I, I don't think pineapple should go on any pizza. I think it should be outlawed from pizzas. But that's just me personally. That's just me. But no, pineapple, pizza, no go. Slapping pineapple on any pizza though. That's my opinion on the topic, but let me know what yours is. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Why the fuck do Australians drink alcohol out of their shoe? Oh. Yeah, that's <laughs> Call that's us weird. out. Uh, it just gets everyone going. <laughs> Why? That one is weird. Have I ever done a shoey? No. Ooh, I shouldn't have said that. Why do Australians called grilled cheeses a cheese toasty? Because it is a cheese that is toasty. The toasty cheese Thanks. sandwich. What do you call your bad attitude, sir? Why do Australians <laughs> always end their sentences on a soprano? That is rude. <laughs> Why do Australians say it's the afternoon when it's 6 p.m.? Because it's 6 p.m. now and it's broad daylight. Why do Australians wow. put their wine in bags? Can you make a goon raft out of a wine bottle? Oh, wow. That's what I That's thought. Dope. Why do Australians have election barbecues? Is the only way to lure us out of the house. Why do Australians <laughs> insist on calling tracksuit pants tracky dacks? Is it really our goal in life to make everything sound unappealing? Maybe. <laughs> there is a special kind of joy you get out of saying tracky dacks that tracksuit pants just doesn't give you. Why do Australians yeah. have summer and spring during the winter and fall? I'm going to introduce you to a wild concept called the hemispheres. And who, who said that dumb one? Who asked that dumb question? That, that one was truly a dumb one. Winter and fall, I'm going to introduce you to a wild concept called the hemispheres and climates that are not your own. 
crazy shit. Why do Australians put beetroot in everything? I can wholeheartedly agree with this one. I had, <laughs> I opened up Pandora's box the other day on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, go and do that at Brienne Worth. Also, I give shout outs to people who follow me on Instagram and comment on my stuff and are just generally quite supportive and lovely. But I made the mistake of saying that I don't like beetroot on burgers and all hell broke loose. And I did a poll to see how many of you thought beetroot belongs on burgers, wrong, or doesn't belong on burgers, correct. And it was literally 50-50 smack bang in the middle the oh, whole wow. day and I couldn't believe it. Nearly fell off the chair I wasn't sitting on. Why would you put beetroot on a burger? It doesn't, it makes it soggy, makes it cold, makes it wet. Those are three things that I don't look for in a burger, That's ever. It stains the neither. bread, I don't, what? Pineapple on pizza, beetroot on a burger, and Monopoly. No. Three things that are guaranteed to break up families. Why do Australians call a slot? I absolutely love Monopoly, but it's it, the game is too long. Depending on who you're playing with, it can take. On burger and Monopoly, three things that are guaranteed to break up families. Why do Australians call a slide a slippery dip? It's just a slide. You must be fun at parties. Why do Australians even go to zoos? Great question. I have possums in that goddamn tree outside of my bedroom every single night. Breaking shit on my balcony, eating my succulents. It's honestly, it's a real joy. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and put the notification bell on because I give shout outs every single video to people who do that. As I said earlier, I also give shout outs to people who follow me on Instagram and leave comments and stuff, so make sure you do that. And you might be able to see me mispronounce your name in a future video. <laughs> Before I do the shout outs, I have a clothing brand called Rift Supply Co. We got these awesome new tees in recently. We got heaps of other stuff like beanies and rings and other tees as well. Best of all, you can pay zero dollars upfront for all of this with Afterpay because God knows most of my life is on Afterpay. That'll be linked below. Make sure you go follow Rift on Instagram and stuff as well because we have giveaways and sales and all that kind of stuff over there. Through the dollar store and found so much weird shit. That's linked below as well, but they go to Samantha Jane. Second one goes to Lenny. Oh, okay. uh, that was definitely a dope video. Uh, she's hilarious. I, I, I love watching her because she's absolutely hilarious. I feel like, I don't know, the Aussie personality, Aussie... Attitude is, is, is a cool laid back, but very funny and I absolutely love that you guys got a favorite video suggestion You can subscribe to patreon or drop it in the comment section subscribe to the channel ring notification bell Get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested social media patreon all up top You will subscribe to any of it for all the links in the description All you gotta do is hit the link follow me talk to me love talking to you guys you guys are the most incredible Team on YouTube it's your boy Daniel out